Hi Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and it's good to be back again. I hope you can hear me clearly um, because there were some issues with my last week's uh, um, videos but I've got a new headset so I hope I don't hear sound like a man and I thought that was really funny. Well, I'll keep those headsets so if I need to sound change my voice I will use them. <laughs> And anyway, I'm using the Archangel Power Deck. I got these for my sister and they're by Diana Virtue. And uh, I think they are by, uh, yes, Redley Valentine. Uh, I will show you the deck. This I've made a review of my old cards. They're a bit battered, but they're beautiful cards. And I love my angels. If you follow me, you know I love my angels. And I can't do without my angels. I've got a lot of angel cards. They're my guides. They're my 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 saviors and protectors. And I, your magic. I love you, Cancer. There's two people in my life that mean a hell of a lot to me and they're my favorite, some of my favorite people. Beside a Sagittarius, of course, and a Pisces, Pisces, and also gems. There's loads more. You can't just depict people by one sign, the sun sign, because we're all made of the moon sign and the rising sign and planets, Mars. Virgo, Pluto, Mercury and Gemini's Mercury, definitely. I'll have to get into your star sign, Cancer, because I want to know what your mutual sign is. Okay, my darlings. And besides that, I'm using the Lenemann. And I'm also using the color cards from Ina Seagull. And also the beautiful uh, card from... Um, uh, Biola Burberry. He is a fashion designer, but in his spare time, I suppose, he makes oracle cards. And these were my first deck from him. And they're so entrancing and beautiful. And also my cat, uh, my cat deck is from him. So these, the bottom of the decks, I'll use as the all uh, general uh, energy for the whole week. And let's get started. Remember, if you're a new viewer, welcome. And please join us in the live sessions for free cards or uh, super chats or super stickers when you have a specific question. And we'll answer them with a reading with three uh, tarot or Lenormand cards and what the angels or the guides say. And with an oracle card. It can be a general or it can be a specific one or it can be a romance one. If you would like an extensive reading then please look at the white circle just just sorry just there I think on the right hand side with the eye and that will take you to the website and there you can see the different of the readings on offer. If you have an extensive reading and you want uh, an update that within six months then that is the one to go for either general or romance. Okay, uh, you can also find the information below this video in the description box and also uh, where you can make the payments or donations if you wish to make a do donation because on Friday and Saturday I will be dis having a discussion time and question time. Um, I will be asking questions and I hope you will be asking me questions and making suggestions on what you prefer or how I could improve the channel to make it more homely uh, because we are a cyber family and without you cyber angels I couldn't do it without you and you and the cards. Okay, it's not just me. It is together we stand strong and together we make it fantastic. Yeah! So if you want to become a cyber angel, then please join us on the Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then you'll be initiated as the cyber angel if you're new. So please subscribe and hit the bell and hit on all because there's three choices. So hit all and you'll be notified. And also keep, if it doesn't work because 
YouTube has issues because they've just gone into the new system then keep an eye out on my Facebook on the main page you can find the media links uh, YouTube Twitter Instagram and I will be posting uh, from time to time but if I have anything specific like times um, then uh, I will be posting on all of them so that you know that I'm going live if YouTube is not notifying you at least you will be notified through Instagram Twitter or Facebook it would be awesome to meet you in the live sessions and please share and like it is thank you very much for those that do it is very much appreciated so it keeps us up in the ratings and we are easier to find so that our family can grow um, I did go live on Wednesday for the Dutch uh, language because I am bilingual but it doesn't work only four people came in and I've tried it three times so that's why I'm only doing it in English sometimes for one or two people that have stayed with me right from the beginning I go into Dutch so let's begin your first card uh, cancer is the two of Gabriel and Gabriel is the wands rods or staves this means that uh, the staves means um, action creativity um, logic uh, and passion so if you do meet an um, what you call it a fire sign a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo let them know what your boundaries are and know what their boundaries are otherwise you the relationship or passion will just burn out because passion doesn't stay love does if you want it to grow then let them know communicate and find out what their limitations are and what they want so that it can grow steadily like the Pentacles steadily but surely and slowly now the two of Gabriel uh, Gabriel means that you might be forming partnerships but you're definitely making plans for the future and at this moment that ain't half bad although we don't know what to expect because the world is going to change go and have a look on my Facebook because I did make a prediction on how the world be changed it's not only the people it's also the environment and the economic world but I won't go into this because this is your reading so you might be forming partnerships and you're planning uh, for the future which is good look at the two people they are talking along the beach and they might be planning what is happening but it looks like if they are in their own world because it looks like a bubble it could be a moon they might be emotional about each other I think it's more like a crystal ball and let me know what your interpretation is but you could be forming partnerships in love or in business like I said make sure that if it is love uh, or in business actually what the other wants to keep the equilibrium and the balance be honest and be true you've got the lily as the clarifying card and that means ask for advice from a mature or professional man and also luck in business or at work I will put it like this because I don't have enough room on this little table but this is my favorite table and it feels good it you know you have to feel good to do a reading you have to be uh, in your strength and I am in my strength at this little coffee table it's like having you here in the two s the other seats that I have around you around me sorry and that you're having a cup of tea or having a glass of coca-cola lemonade and we're talking to each other this is so fantastic and this is the magic of cyber and that's why I call the chat room the tea room on Wednesday you have the ten of Michael and the ten of Michael is the ten of swords some stupid person has stabbed you in the back it could be a friend so it's an end of a friendship they didn't think before they took the action 
they didn't see your worth, your love, your loyalty, your trust, your faith in them, and how you supported them. And that hurts. That really, really hurts. But a 10 is an ending, and where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. And she, I love this picture, because she's taking a bow. And you know what this says to me? Yes, it is the Swan Lake. Look at the swans in the back. And that's supposed to be for life. It's your fault. It, not your fault, I shouldn't say that. It's your problem, not mine. Somebody else will be on my path. Somebody else better than you that will appreciate me. That will love me. That will respect me. That knows that my values and that I, I'm valuable to them in every which way you think possible. This is the Ten of Swords. So there will be somebody else on your path. You will get recognition like she does after the performance. She's taking a deep bow of gratitude and acknowledging the beautiful thanks and the clapping of the audience, the people that do appreciate her. It's their issue and their problem, not yours. And I forget to read the bottom of the cards. And I think I did with this one as well. Make hold. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. There you go. And partnership partners do. But if there is a partner that stabbed you in the back, there will be a new one. Boom! Because a 10 becomes a 1. So, the bottom of this card, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Yes, put everything or that person or that situation behind you. It's very heavy, I know, I've been there, done that. But you are stronger than you know. You are a beautiful, unique individual. You are you, and if they can't see that, they're not worth it. Whether it's a partner, a boss, a friend or a girlfriend, a best friend for life, things change, you've outgrown them. You're better than them because you've chosen another way, your way. They will go their way. It could have been a man, but like I said, there will be something new coming in. So I think it will be a new man. Be more businesslike. Be serious. Steadfast. That is the character of characteristics of the masculine side of the female. And that's the characteristic of the man. So take a page out of their book. Stand strong. Stand in your strength. And just realize that you are unique and love yourself. You'll be a beacon of attraction to romance or partnerships. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, I love it, I love it. I love these readings this week. And you've got the Nine of Gabriel, the Nine of Wands. Again, an ending. You've been through a heavy, difficult period. And you've sown. Look at him. He's in the garden. You've sown seeds and you are waiting. And you've been through a tough time. Don't give up now. We've got a saying in Holland. The last steps are the heaviest. There's something much much better coming along. There's the end of a phase, a new beginning. And like I said, with a 10, it's already a 1, so this is a confirmation really of that one. And at the bottom of this card it says, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. And I said to you, the world is going to change. So if you are aware of the environmental activity and change that's going on, you're a step ahead of everybody else. You might have had rows, 
You might have had disagreements because you've got the whip. But they've gone now. They've gone. Finished. You are your own person. You are going your own way. You're being businesslike. You're standing strong. You're being like a man. Okay. You can show your emotions. And if some most men would show their emotions, they would even be loved more. They don't realize that. Because it shows their soft side, their feminine side, their feeling side, their emotional side, their intu intuitive side, their nurturing and caring side, and loving side. Men should not sh shun away of their emotions. They should live more with their emotions. Then they can stand the women, understand the women more. Men are beautiful, but sometimes, whether man or woman, we can mm, be misunderstood or be difficult. Uh, inclusive me. And you've got number 15. And in this deck it's called um, Decisions. Yes, you have. You might have more than one choice, um, but the decision is Archangel Jovial. He will bring you joy, but Archangel Jovial. Um, is the the archangel of the solar plex so open up your solar plex but decisions in the traditional deck it is the devil don't let anybody tell you what to do in other words manipulate you don't be beholden to anybody learn from the past let go you've been there you've done that you've got a new beginning this is also look at this this bird is in the cage. This angel is holding a cage. You were imprisoned and now you're free. Archangel Jovial has opened the door. If not you, you've made a choice. You've made a decision or you're going to. Because you're going to fly away and be free. You've got a new beginning. No, you don't belong to anybody. You, I, you should be with somebody the equilibrium should be there share and share alike give and take support through sickness and in health in riches and in poorness release yourself from that which holds you back a need to de detox unnecessarily <sighs> unnecessary worry sorry about the big sigh but it's a form of re release I'm letting go of things unnecessarily unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence no I'm confident but unfortunately 15 minutes ago I just heard somebody passed away so that was the sigh I'm releasing they're here with me and I'm sending them off with a lot of love and a lot of peace and you might have lost somebody that might be the ending perhaps that is the message that came now why does it come in your reading I don't know but they they are saying there's new beginnings too many too many choices to choose from and perhaps that is the case for you because you've got a child you might be pregnant, you might be finding out that you're pregnant, you might be hearing of a birth. This could be a birth of a child, this could be a birth of a new venture, new job, new business. Okay? Be more playful. Let your inner child come out. Let your inner child come out. Don't be too serious, but be businesslike when it's necessary. Be masculine when it is necessary. But let your inner child come out and your passion. You've got two cards of passion. You might be meeting a, a, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. You might start a new study. You might start an apprenticeship that you are playing you're learning in a playful way that with being an apprentice doing the practice because you're better at practice or practical things than books you will shine out like a beacon they will love you 
and you've got an unexpected change. Change your life, Archangel Shamuel. So you've got Archangel Jovial and you've got Archangel Shamuel. And Shamuel is the Archangel of the heart. So open your heart and your solar plex. That's a message here. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Again, the freedom. Where is the cage? Here is the cage. Again, open, open, open. Okay? Break free from procrastination. That's storm, stalling and delaying. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. Yes. Use the new beginnings. Use the change and the beginnings. When one door closes, a door, 20 doors will open. It might be unexpected, but you didn't make the decision. So the angels gave you the change, the universe. But there is a warning. And I think Gemini had this as well. The fox. Remember, people, the fox doesn't change his tricks, but he sheds his hair. And on the positive side of the fox is be precise with what you do. Dot your I's, cross your T's. Because somebody might have an eye on you. Somebody might be keeping an eye on you. This could be a potential employer. This could be a, a new potential lover. The man. Okay? Business. Work. Luck. So, you know, if you have to meet deadlines, do it. Be precise. Dot your eyes. Cross your T's. You'll get that promotion. New beginnings. Boom, 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 boom. If you don't take the decision, then again, underneath the fox, you've got the tower. But the tower in Lenemon is different than the tower in... Um, this is the tower, uh, the Empire State Building. Um, uh, in Lenamon it's different it means ambitious don't forget the people around you so you won't be alone when you reach the top so that is your warning now you've got 23 and that's a 5 and you've got lemon citron, uh, citron. that is citron is Dutch these are written in Dutch, so drink water, uh, warm water with a slice of lemon in the morning. It will detox you. You can wear lemon. It will help you with cleansing, stress levels, etc., etc. And you can wear it. You can meditate it. There is um, an entrance to new way of thinking, so getting a different perspective. Okay. You, I think you might be meeting a new lover or a new special friend. Retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. Well, we are in lockdown. So, you might be making plans to retreat with your partner if you're hooked up. And if not, it might be a new person. Because 10, there is a new person coming in. You have done with the arguments. 9, an end okay where there is an end there is a new beginning wow don't let anybody manipulate you stay yourself make yourself free fly out of the cage communicate clearly that is the answer of the angels I love this reading for you cancer I hope it resonates with you and I hope to see you in the live tomorrow uh, or on Saturday. It all depends how fast it goes, the live sessions, because I'm going to have a question and uh, discussion time in the live sessions. And for anybody that has donated um, for a special a question, a private question, personal question. I will be taking time out with gratitude, of course. And you, if you don't, if you cannot pay in the live sessions, then pay before I go live because I will check out my PayPal. And the information is below this video in the description box, or um, um, 
in the little white circle just there. So I hope this reading resonates with you and I hope you will share the reading uh, with family and friends and I hope to see you in the live sessions. If not tomorrow or Saturday, um, then I hope to see you next Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you stay safe and have a wonderful week. Keep an eye on my Facebook, Twitter or Instagram because I uh, will be notifying when I'm going out just in case this new system of YouTube doesn't work. Love you all and stay safe and be blessed. Ciao, ciao.